Call of Duty Modern Warfare launch is upon us, and since Blizzard was so busy sucking off China, they pretty much released the game with settings that were just ultra fucked. So we're going to be going through the menu settings, and I'm going to be trying to hit all the high notes of what you need to change. Now some of this is preference, but I've been playing all day, and basically the game upon launch is unplayable, so let's talk about some of the settings. Because the graphics aren't really that important, even when you change them from high to low, there's not that much difference. In order to get the maximum amount of D, uh, FPS, you want to drop all this shit down to low, as well as all this stuff you want to drop down as well. You can disable this garbage, turn it down to low. Basically, you want to click to the left every single one of these, and the more you click to the left, the more FPS you'll get. Turn anti-aliasing off. This is a huge deal. This will get you a lot of FPS. And you want to turn this film grain down all the way to zero. Now, I don't know how dim-witted you would have to be to actually default something in a game to make it appear more grainy. But whenever you fire all of your talented employees, as Blizzard has been known to do, and your real big focus is the virtue signal for that Chinese market, this is the sort of garbage you're left with. Disable motion blur and world blur, those are both cancer, and this has to be zeroed out film grain, that's one of the most important things. And anti-aliasing has to be turned off too, really important. So let's talk about audio, you want to go for midnight mode, it helps you sound horror the best as far as I know. And this is a big fucking cancer step. So you disable voice chat, and you don't, I wouldn't even recommend doing this because there is a big old fucking chat box right in the way that never says anything, and anytime you die it comes back up and gets in your way. Now logically you would think, well if I hit disable, it'll turn that off, and it won't be in my way. No, it's like a setting for 12 year olds where if you have like your little brother and you don't want him to like type the N word on your account, you hit disable, because the chat box still comes up. It's still in the way, but you just can't type. So this is like a kitty setting. Utter garbage. Let's talk about general a little bit. A lot of this stuff isn't as concrete as the graphic settings were. Field of view, max this bitch out. 100%, I don't care if, you're a, if you used to play Xbox, or if you used to play PS4, or you're a long-time PC gamer. Max this bitch out, okay? Field of view, max it all the way out. Brightness, you could probably fucking bump up a little bit because all the maps are really dark. Tooltips disabled. It's just dumb shit that you would basically tell some cretin who just installed the game. All worthless. This is a perk! Worthless. Skip introduction movie. Yeah, unless you want to have permanent hearing damage, put that on enabled. You never want to have to listen to that garbage again. Uh, none of this stuff is worth messing with. Look at this profanity filter. Oh yeah, you know, if someone says a bad word, they can make that not appear, but if you don't want a fucking chat box obstructing your screen, I am sorry about that. FPS counter you want on, server latency you want on. That's just sort of basic stuff. Keyboard and mouse, you can mess with a Cronin Prouch to be toggle or not toggle, depending on what you're used to. I think pretty much everyone uses toggle. And then I like to rebind my grenades to mouse keys. Anyway. So now that we have covered the basics, and I just want to reiterate that screen refresh rate should be on 144 or whatever your monitor can do at the absolute highest. That's obvious. You want to be on the highest resolution. A lot of this stuff is rather obvious. You want to have your graphics card actually to your... Do you want to have this set to your graphics card? I know some motherboards have graphics cards built in, and it can default to those for some reason. And you want to unlimit your frame rate. So now that we have talked about how to get the game to actually run, I need to address an audio bug. If you boot the game and your audio is fucking horrific and it just sounds so gravelly, like you're taking two Chinese dicks in the ear at once and Blizzard's laughing because they're just so inept and so ruthlessly money hungry. Right click. Uh, I actually did this once, I didn't practice. That's not right. Sounds, let's see. Properties is what you want. And then you want to go to advanced, and this corn shit 
awful joke of a game will default your audio settings to this absolutely abhorrent 16-bit quality at the top here, which it just sounds like unbelievably bad. We're talking like cell phone speakers in each ear bad. You want to have this down at the bottom, 24-bit, the highest audio quality. And this is funny because I know I had this setting at this quality before I launched this game. And anything else I listened to, HBO Go, music, YouTube, all of it sounded normal. This dog shit game, crackly, terrible, obnoxious, headache-inducing. You got to turn this all the way to the bottom and hit OK and apply obviously. So let's talk about the uh, the game modes. So you got TDM, Cyber Attack, which is like uh, if you mix Corn Doggery with Capture the Flag, Dom, which at least you don't have to switch midway through the half, Search and Destroy, which just a few hours after launch people are already just ruthlessly camping on in headquarters. So you're missing Demolition, War, and a plethora of other interesting game types, but those are the two that are really fun that come to mind. So, really this game has been pretty annoying so far. In general, the maps are just horrific. They're a slap in the face. If we go to loadouts here, the M4, a lot of people bitch about it, but you know what? At mid and long range, the recoil is severe. Back in the beta, you didn't unlock this EOD, which is basically like flak jacket, until later on, and it made double claymores incredibly powerful. I'm pretty sure they switched scavenger and EOD level from what I, what I remember, but no one was really running EOD in the beta, and now everyone runs EOD and claymores are fucking worthless. Double time is terrible because you just get caught sprinting. In this game, it favors defensive play exceptionally heavily. I noticed that any time I would have a bad game, I was just sprinting around too much. I almost fucking unbound my sprint key. It was getting so bad. Overkill, if you're going to use it, you need to switch it with Amped, so you don't just die when you switch weapons. Restock is decent, because otherwise you don't really recharge your lethal, but then again, so many people use the ammo crate that restocks really, there's really no point in it. High alert I've used, and it's ost ostensibly useless, just like any perk in any other COD that does this. Hardline is what it is. Now, Kill Chain and Point Man, I think, are going to be the go, the two go-to perks, if I just had to guess. I don't even think you could unlock either of these in the beta. I certainly don't remember them. Quick Fix might be okay. Cold Blooded, I mean, that's in every COD game. Spotter will actually be really good for sniping. And as far as I can tell, Battle Hardened will be pretty useless. If you want to run like a Black Ops 1 style flak jacket tack mask class, you could use Battle Hardened and EOD, but there's really not that much nade spam. And the Claymores just are not what they used to be in the beta. Back in the beta, like the best strategy was to use a setup like Claymore, Scavenger, Restock, and really abuse the Claymores, especially in matchups like Headquarters. Nah, in this game it's just pretty disappointing. Tracker's pretty bad, as far as I can tell. Uh, abilities like Tracker and High Alert aren't ever really useful, just in general in any COD game. So if I were you, I'd be running with something along the lines of Hardline until you unlock these bottom two. EOD is just a solid, you know, I'm not going to die to bullshit perk. Overkill is decent if you're sniping. If you use Overkill, you have to use Amped. It's a must-have. And if you're going to use Shrapnel, you might as well use Restock. A lot of these perks sort of work together. In other words, if you're going to base your game around having a lot of extra grenades, you want to have other perks that go along with that. It synergizes well with each other. Now in regards to the lethals, the Molotov's awful, don't use it. It's nothing compared to the Molotov and Counter-Strike. And what is most annoying about it is whatever it hits, it'll stick to. So if you throw it against a wall at a choke point at a door, it'll just worthlessly stick to the wall. It's not very good. Claymore's been nerfed pretty hard. The frag is what it is. I only died to one frag all game and only got one frag kill. And obviously a lot of these I haven't messed with. The uh, vehicles, this is a little bizarre. Ground War hasn't been enabled yet. And... I played Ground War in the beta. It's really not all it's cracked up to be because the maps are just huge. It basically turns into like Battlefield where you have two massive warehouses where a bunch of people are camping. And the Thermite is just annoying. 
it looks like a uh it looks like one of those fireworks that you light and it just makes a bunch of bright lights i forget what they're called i haven't really messed with much of this stuff the secondary is the troy was the best gun from what i recall the tacticals the stuns blow up in the air in old cod games the difference between stuns and flashes was flashes took longer to pull out but when you threw them, they would blow up in the air. Stuns would go all the way to the ground, so stuns were better because you could memorize stun spots and hit objectives. They don't do that. They blow up in the air. Don't use stuns. Smokes would probably be pretty good in objective game types. The rest of this stuff I haven't really had a chance to mess with, but don't use stun grenades. Let's talk about the kill streaks. This thing's fucking terrible. The personal radar, don't bother using it. It's a, an utter joke. This thing, the shield turret, it seems like it would be really good at first. The rate of fire is too slow and it has a really short timer on it. Not worth using. UAV is really good. You don't unlock cold-blooded for a few levels and silencers aren't as really a big a part of this game as they are in other Call of Duty, so I wouldn't stray away from the UAV. I would use the UAV in pretty much every killstreak setup. The cluster strike, it's not that good unless you're doing an objective game mode like headquarters. The best use of this is to be one of the last people in your headquarters match and call this in on a doorway and just really make it hard for the enemy team to intrude. Basically, you pull out a little laser pointer and point it at the ground and it basically is like a mortar strike from Black Ops 1. The sentry is pretty annoying. I mean, come on, it's the sentry. It is what it is. Remember, there aren't as many, like, there's not zero in this game, like in Black Ops 4, so having equipment like this is actually useful. The chopper gunner is solid, but it can be shot down really easily. It takes, like, four AR clips to do. So if you treat a chopper gunner like it's a Call of Duty 4 helicopter, and you just have an intelligent team where everyone just responds to it and dumps a clip up in the air, it's nothing. It's really easy to deal with. I haven't really messed with any of this other stuff advanced UAV I guess is like Blackbird no one has used that with or against interesting that this is all the way up at 12 though you know because back in the day it was 8 I haven't had a chance to experiment with a lot of this a lot of these weren't available in the beta this Volt Jet is pretty good it's basically like a Harrier white phosphorus uh, I'm assuming that's like a napalm strike hasn't been used with or against me level 51 unlock Precision airstrike, basically the same as Black Ops. Haven't messed with or against cruise missile. Keep in mind it's day one of the uh, the game being released. So finally we'll talk about the weapons here. The MP5 seems decent. I haven't used it a lot. But I've seen other people use it. The P90 is terrible. It's a recoil machine. The AUG is decent from my experience. A lot of these guns, like the SMGs and ARs, recoil really heavily compared to other CODs. The LMGs, I haven't messed with, but I've seen people use them and they look really strong. The Marksman rifles, I've messed with a little. The M14 kicks a lot, and but don't... Oh, it's EBR. No, it's the M14. Fuck you. It recoils a lot, it has a lot of muzzle flash. It's decent if people are like... The thing is, is if they're at mid to long range, it's good. If you can hit them with the first shot and they're at mid to long range, it's good. If they're at long range, super long range, it's really not all that good. Compared to a sniper, you're just going to die to sniper. Maybe like if there's a thermal scope or some bullshit I haven't unlocked, who knows. But I would vastly prefer the other gun in that category, the MK2. I picked this up, someone was using it, and it just felt way cleaner, way more. Because when you use guns like this, you, you're sort of going for like a one shot to the upper chest. Because if you miss the first, co if you miss the first couple shots with the EBR, the recoil is pretty filthy. And I even have a stupid little foregrip on it. So I wouldn't recommend the EBR, but the carbine's okay. LMGs, I think, have some potential. One thing that I think will be interesting in this game is the the mounting. Obviously, you can like run up to like a box or some shit and mount your gun. I think that might be the way that they're sort of trying to like counteract the recoil. But between that and people being able to peek around doors, this game is going to get real campy real quick. The shotguns are dog shit. This thing is unusable. Nothing but hit markers, and it's a fucking pump. 
this one is okay. The second one you unlock, and I don't know why it's saying I haven't unlocked it, but the second one you unlock, it it's basically like a double barrel with the pump. It sort of looks stupid, but you pretty much always need the second shot to get a kill. Haven't unlocked the Brolympia yet, but in the beta it was dog shit, hit marker machine, so shotguns are really underpowered. And the ARs, I've really only experimented with the M4, and it's it's just your solid, you know, assault rifle, but the recoil does sort of get out of hand at longer range. It's not really like the ACR from Modern Warfare 2 or the M4 from Modern Warfare 2 or the Galil from Black Ops 1. A lot of these guns have sort of Counter-Strike-esque escalating rapid recoil, which you have to be wary of. One thing that I noticed is the snipers just feel so clunky. It feels like you'll be right on someone's chest and you'll shoot and you won't get a kill. To me, it feels like there's a half a second between the sniper being shot and connecting. I don't know if that's just me being rusty or being used to the instantaneousness of Counter-Strike, which is what I was playing a lot of before I got this game. But the snipers did not feel good at all. And this sniper felt way better than the Dragunov. And if you're going to use a sniper, you might as well use Overkill with Amped. And the Claymores are just awful. I mean, I have them on the sniper class, but... I got like one or two Claymore kills today. Because people basically just fucking spawn in default with EOD and they're not good. Which was obviously a conscious effort from Blizzard to move the level in which you unlock this because in the beta it was way late and like I said claymores are really good and the sort of perk 2 really puzzles me because kill chain and point man just seem absurd like point man turns your kill streaks into score streaks like uh, hello objective players that's fucking insane I feel like that might just be a must run but then kill chain is basically like modern warfare 2 kill streaks so it'll be interesting uh, but basically these first three are terrible like restock is only good if you're using some sort of like scavenger uh, shrapnel like abusive setup I guess it could be good but expect these last two to be the ones that everyone uses other than like your average corner camping ghost bitch you know what uh, point man EOD and battle hardened might actually be a nice little objective focus setup battle hardened but see uh, not a lot of people use that stuff effectively anyway as the game stands shotguns are vastly underpowered the way that they released the game in terms of the default settings was just abhorrent you pretty much had to spend half a day figuring out oh, okay I have to, why is it so grainy I kept asking myself why is it so grainy and why is the audio so bad that shouldn't happen on day one of a release of a game and you know what I could cut them a little bit more slack if the beta hadn't actually been decent so if I helped you with the game being framey or poorly look poor looking or with shitty audio sub for more I'm gonna probably make a couple commentaries hopefully this game is better than the first day seems like it was